coding your own strategy. Remember, we last calculated the range high and range low of the last 20 period. Let's try to code a strategy on the previous end days range. This is one of the most common strategies in technical analysis and is also similar to the turtle trading system. We buy when prices go above the last 15 period range and sell when prices go below the 15 period range. I will plot the range high and range low AFL created in the earlier tutorial coding your own indicators. I want to buy when price move above the 15 period and short when price move below the 15 period range. The current indicator include the last candle in the calculation of range. This is the region why prices never cross above or below the range. They only touch the range. When candle makes a new high, it will always touch the upper range, but it will never cross above the upper range. The change you need to make to create a crossover with the last candle is that the last candle should not be included in the range calculations. I need to shift the indicator one candle back. To recalculate, I write range equals to reference of range high minus 1. I am familiarizing you with the most common AFL functions. By the way, you can also look in the help manual or categorized list of functions to find similar functions. This categorized list of functions is very helpful for beginners. We move to coding our first strategy with the four rules buy, sell, short and cover. Every strategy should have a long entry, a long exit, a short entry and a short exit. In ME, bro in ME broker, long entry is defined by buy, long exit is defined by sell, short entry is defined by short and short exit is defined by cover. We want to buy when high of the current candle crosses above the range high. For this we use another common function cross. So I am writing buy equals to cross of high comma range high. For sell I will use of cross of range low comma low. Short and cover will be symmetrically opposite to buy and sell. To plot the buy and sell arrow on the chart, I will use the function plot shapes. Let us now check the signals manually as they have been generated on the chart. We see that the strategy generates signals whenever there is a crossover, so there are repeated signals. Every time there is a cross with the range, it generates a signal and this is not what we want from a buy and sell rules. We want to buy only when there is a crossover. We do not want consecutive buy but this happens logically because that's the way we have coded it. This is a logical problem not a coding syntax problem. If the buy conditions are matched 10 times there should not be 10 consecutive signals. During this course, we will discuss several other logical level problems. You will face these challenges in strategy programming whichever platform you choose. These challenges are not specific to MB Broker. You will face them whether you are coding strategies in Python or Excel or any other platform. To remove the consecutive signals, we will need another function XRAM. See the description of XRAM function. It removes the excessive signals unless there is a matching opposite signal. So it can remove all excessive buys until there is a matching cell and it can remove all consecutive cells until there is a matching buy. Let's add XRAM to our code. Save this file to see the difference on chart. See, 
we are able to get rid of excessive signals using the xrem we have a proper cycle of long entry long exit short entry and short exit if you are an absolute beginner in programming strategies you may start feeling a bit bored let me tell you something which will motivate you for learning in this course you will find these programming challenges on all platform ninja trader metastock or even excel python or r the good thing is that in emi broker that are easy inbuilt functions and you don't need to code everything from scratch in python r or excel you will need to do a lot of coding from scratch level whichever platform you are using to code strategies you will need to deal with this so the best choice is to learn programming one step at a time